Hey, what's going on guys? JB here with Divi Space. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a menu call to action button using a little bit of CSS and Divi. So let's dive right in. So in this video, we're gonna create a menu call to action button uh, that will drive our visitors to click or tap so that they can give our business a call. And the way that we do this is by going over to our WordPress dashboard, hovering on appearance, clicking on menus. And then when we're on our menu screen on the left side, you'll see a section that says add menu items. And then we're going to create a custom link. Click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my telephone number to my business here. And then I'm going to name that item as well. So it's going to be called now add to menu. It's going to add it to our menu structure here. If you click on this little drop down arrow, uh, you can see that we're presented with the same fields, uh, URL, and then the label of the menu item, but we need that CSS classes field so that we can associate a class to it. If we look up on the top right corner of our screen, you'll see screen options, click on that. And then you'll be presented with two sections. One is called show advanced menu properties. And we're going to click on CSS classes there. Once we do that, we can hide this and then we we'll go back to our menu item and you'll see our URL field label. And then it has added that CSS classes field. So let's go ahead and type in the class of choice. So for me, it's going to be menu underscore CTA, which is short for call to action. I'm going to click save menu. And then now we're going to go over to Divi theme options so we can style our call to action by it. Let's go ahead and scroll down to our custom CSS field. And then we're going to copy and paste the code snippet that you will find on our blog post. That link will be provided for you guys down in the video description so you guys can check it out. So this is our basis to the call to action code snippet. So let's go ahead and save the changes and see what that looks like on the front end. Refresh my page and there you go. There is my button. So let's go ahead and take a look at it on mobile for phone and tablet. This is what it looks like on phone. Let's check it out on tablet. And that's what it looks like on a tablet. Now, as you can see, this is pretty bare bones, uh, but we can actually add an icon to this button as well to appear on a desktop version of the website. So let's go back into our WordPress uh, dashboard here and within our Divi theme options. And if you go back to the blog post as well, there is another code snippet that you can use that will have the icon implemented in the snippet. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that as well. And there you have it. So we can see some of the basis of our CTA uh, code snippet that we originally used. And then below that, we have a media query that indicates that we want to use um, a particular icon. Now these icons are coming from the elegant themes icon list. So we will leave a link in the video description as well. And you can also uh, check that out within the blog post as well. And then you'll be able to find the particular number uh, for the icon. So for the telephone icon, this is going to be the number that you'll be using. Um, and then everything else you would just keep the same. If you want to modify the color, you can do so as well. And then our font family will be ET modules. So make sure to also have that install within your website using Divi. And then the rest is the same. So let's go ahead and save changes. And then we're going to go back to our page, refresh that. And there you have it. You have the telephone icon before our text. And that is how you add an icon as well to your call to action button. There are other code snippets that you'll be able to find within the blog post when it comes to styling as well. So make sure to check that out also. If you're wanting to achieve beautiful call to action buttons within your menu or header area of your website, 
without needing to code your own. At Divi Space, we have over 30 plus child themes you can choose from, like Divi Ecommerce Pro, Divi Podcast, or Divi Nonprofit, and which have strategic call to action button placements built in to encourage your visitors to interact with and take action. You can purchase these child themes individually or sign up for our annual membership to have access to all the Divi child themes and more. And that is how you create a menu call to action button uh, using a little bit of CSS and Divi. If this video was helpful for you and you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to drop a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you'll be notified when a new video goes live. My name is JB with Divi Space. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep learning.